Our boy, our boy went on Shannon Sharp, who's not my boy anymore. Not my boy. But Shannon Sharp's uh, podcast is show talking about Bronny. Oh, Bronny. Um, James, tell me a little bit about, about Junior and what he, what he talked about Bronny. Obviously, famous father son duo. I don't need to. We'll, we'll roll the clip. Roll the oh, clip. Uh, Bronny, the clip. you know, Let's just, hey, relax, enjoy it, um, be you. You know, you're not going to be him. Nobody's him. And the same thing I feel like my dad told me when I got there, he said, this is your team. I'm just here. And he went on. He also had another clip when we asked. You're going to learn a lot by being able to sit there and be on the bench watching him. You know, people go, oh, he needs to go to the G League. He needs this. He needs that. I tell you what, I learned more sitting there watching my dad than anything. Okay. So, a couple of interesting things there. Uh, number one, you know that I respect you, Junior. I love Junior. He's a business partner of mine. He's a friend of both of ours. We absolutely adore him. I agree with Junior that he would that Bronny would probably learn more watching LeBron than going down to the G League. Where I disagree is that Bronny does not belong in the G League or the NBA. He's not a good enough player. That's the difference. When Junior was a player, when he was watching his father, it's because he was a talented guy. Bronny has no talent. Or, I mean, he has talent. He can drop a... He's a lot better than I am, but he's not an NBA talent. He's barely a G League talent. That's the problem. Griffey was like the greatest baseball player ever coming up. He was a huge touted prospect, set in time in the minor leagues. There's a certain level that you need to be at. That's the problem with Bronny. Like he should still be in college. He is not professional. He's not professional on any standard. In college, he wasn't all anything. Like not even when you're when you're getting to all all conference. Not even when we're getting to all like, like to be in in the NBA, the NBA level of athlete where you have to be. If you're not even like a top 10 pick, you're nobody, basically. I mean, in all honesty, it doesn't mean you can't be. It doesn't mean it hasn't happened. But in all reality, it's like top 15 or, or bust at that yeah. point. You know, when you were playing, when you were a kid, I'm going to make a pretty decent bet that you were, if not the best player on the team, you were no. one of the two best players of the team? Uh, no. No. Really? But I got better every year. Okay, you got better every year. But when you were at Rice... You were one of the better players on the team, correct? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, at that point, I was a first rounder. I was, yeah, I was the closer of a national championship winning team. And I was, you know, okay. two wins and a save in the College World Series and, out of, and a pitch, what, five out of six games or something like that. Bronny went to USC, and not only was he the, was he not the best player on the team, he wasn't even the best in the top five on his team. It was just pathetic. He came out of college too soon, and that's only because daddy said i want you to play with me because my legacy is going to be better i want to be like junior it, it here's my problem is like braun Le lebron is an incredible player top 10 top five whatever you want to argue I, I, i'm sorry he's not michael sorry he's not michael Stop. um but he's but he's there he's in a conversation with that top five type of conversation like without a doubt the numbers back it up rings back it up everything you want to say about him back up no matter whether i like him or not back the numbers are there you, you can't argue i'm a baseball guy you can't argue with numbers yeah. um <laughs> my problem though is like this is all about him this was all about him and that's the big knock we've always said about lebron james it's about the name on the front of his jersey oh sorry on, like it's about lebron it's about the name on the back it's about james I say the front. So sorry, that's the old adage. It's supposed to be about the front, not the back. Yeah. It's about the back for him. It's about LeBron James. LeBron wanted to play with his son. It's a mis like misuse of power. Son didn't earn it, man. And that's the problem. Like you're talking about like privilege. That's the ultimate privilege. Like he didn't earn it. He did nothing. And it and actually hurt his development. And I get the whole watching his dad. He's watched his dad. He's watched his dad. He's watched his dad a lot. You can go to every single game, every single practice. Like, nothing's stopping you. What you need is to play against talent that's closer to you 
and to improve, to get better. Practicing on the Lakers during the season is not it. Like that's like they are getting ready every day. They're already on a certain level. They're getting ready every day. This ain't Kobe. You're not at 4 a.m. Kobe in it up, like practicing a one-on-one against Kobe every day. Go do that, dude. You'll be the best player ever. You'll be the best player you'll ever be. 